and welcome back to my channel. So, I thought I would just have a play about with some makeup today and we'll see where it takes us. So, I don't know whether to start with eyes first or not. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stone Vibes as well as the Naked Wild Waste palette. So, let's have a look at what we're going to do. As I say, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. This is like the pinky one. First of all, I've got really bad allergies just now. It's just driving me for I take antihistamines like every day. But, so if I sound nasally and a bit, oh, don't get it in your eye, Jimmy. For God's sake. And I'm getting really frustrated because this ring light is absolutely shit. I can't zoom in on this camera. Like, I want to... Anyone else got a Huawei P30 light phone? But it doesn't let you zoom in. So, like, that's as close as I can come up to you. Everything's so frustrating. So it's the back of the on a Saturday here and I just decided why not slap a bit of makeup on I'm guessing everyone in England will be flocking to the beer gardens and stuff all desperate for their alcohol fix I don't know. I mean, I don't really drink that much these days anyway. I think the last time I had an alcoholic drink was probably at the beginning of the year, like the old gin or something, but <clears throat> I personally don't see it as an essential. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Colour Corrector in Light Bisque. Personally, just think that you know, I get people miss the social aspect of things with the lockdown, and I do get that you know, people like their alcohol, but I'm in no rush to be traipsing to the pub and stuff. I just think. See how that's colour corrected and that's anything. I do think it's quite sad actually in a way. I mean obviously it's good for the pub industries and business. But you know what drunk folk are like? They're not gonna stick to the rules. This is the problem. Anyway, I suppose what I'm trying to say is that obviously in Scotland there's like pubs and that haven't opened up yet but what I'm trying to say is even if they had, I wouldn't be rushing to go to the pub. <laughs> okay, so for foundation today I'm going to use, oh so nicely, the Wet n Wild, this one, dewy one, and I've got it in the shade Nude Ivory. Oopsie. Oh, I'm just gonna pop some of this on. This foundation is amazing. And it is so inexpensive. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Now then, I'll use this Bobbi Brown full cover face brush. Oh, just gonna pop it on. I've been finding that if I have any makeup on, particularly like mascara and that, once I take it off, I've got really irritated eyes. That's why I think it's like allergies and things. So it kind of puts me off wanting to put makeup on because I don't want to have irritated eyeballs. 
this will probably end up in a long video so you might want to grab yourself a wee drink or something to eat or whatever get yourself all cosy it's the is it the 16th of April today when I'm filming this so back to college on Wednesday not looking forward to it at all because I just hate hairdressing and as I've said before the lecture is not nice right let's move on to eyes then <clears throat> so from the Naked Wild West palette I'm going to take this shade here called Laredo and just pop it on over my lid this is actually a concealer brush from the body shop but I am just oh that's really nice I'm going to use this shade here and do something with it I've come to the conclusion, it's only taken me 37 years, that I just don't have the patience for certain things. And I do think we get more impatient as we get older, or is that just me? Like I was sitting, this watching them people on YouTube doing like more sort of artsy stuff more creative looks and that, and I'm just like, that must have taken them ages. And I just wouldn't have the patience just to sit there doing it all. Seems that creasing here. I can't remember the last time I actually hit pan on an eyeshadow. I feel like I haven't actually. I really like this colour. <coughs> oh my god. I don't even know if I'll actually put this video up. I might just do it and play about but not actually. Let's try and recreate on the other eye what we're doing here. It's been so nice having the Easter holidays off that I feel like I just don't want to go back to do anything. I really love this shadow. I get textured on this eye a lot more though. I think I've taken it to about there. I got an email from this company saying that they'd seen my YouTube channel and they liked my content, which is always nice to hear. And they were like, pick five items as a clothing one. And I normally don't bother with that or 
because I'm a bigger girl and I never really liked your child. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and um, they were like, pick five items and then pick three like backup items. But there wasn't that much choice of stuff. And I also find sizes are really deceiving sometimes. So I have picked the stuff and I emailed them back and we'll see if they actually do send me stuff because I keep getting all these DMs on my Instagram saying message me for a collab and then you message them and they're like buy all this stuff and get charged a shit ton of customs and shipping and I'm like eh no and then when you try to ask them a question it's like radio silence so I am like, great. Now, I don't know why, but I feel like that one has gone more precisely. And this one has gone a bit with. So let's just lay that down. Take this, and I'm going to go into just this little standoff, kind of creamy white colour. And see if I can just do something with it. But I really do. I like this shade. I still am sick fed up of these eyes not matching. I feel like that one. I'm going to take another flat brush with a tiny little bit. Actually, I'm just going to use the colour corrector that I've had. So a tiny bit of it on the end of this brush. <clears throat> and just kind of I think I'm going to have to see my doctor about stronger and resistant ones. Hmm. Right. I quite like that for the minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what I want to do is move on to the Stone Vibes palette and take this Bloodstone shade here which looks on camera like a greeny colour and I'm going to swatch it for you right, look you see the dual chrome effect look at that oh, hello there so I'm going to pop that on I think I'm going to use a flat brush first with it and just see how it goes. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to stay on my finger because I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I'm just pressing that on there. I love a dual chrome with like this kind of shift to it. See that there? Just it's really subtle on my eye though. And it's got like flakes of green glitter. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna use the all nighter and I'm just gonna spray my finger a wee bit. And then go into the palette to apply that there that is so pretty oh my god I love this palette so much I'm so glad I got it that is gorgeous look 
like it like that. See it? It's so pretty. Right, let's add some to this eye. It's just so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice, so nice. Let's just wait my finger a wee bit more. It's so hard to just get a wee bit out of that Urban Decay for me. I need to get some of the Urban Decay 24 7 liners and also the glitters. I don't know, since I've got this uh, Wild West palette, I seem to be a lot, got a lot more back into Urban Decay. I'm dying to get, try their Hydromaniac. Like, I really just want to get that. Ooh, it has a happy with that. Right. Let's just wipe that off my finger before I get it all over the place. <clears throat> and let's have a look. I really like that. Right, let's continue with the skin. So, I'm going to use a bit of concealer first. I'm using this Body Shop Fresh Nude Serum uh, concealer in the shade number one, Fair. It's actually quite dark. I'm just going to use a little there and here. A lot of times I actually forget to put concealer on. I'm always just like, as long as I have my corrector on. And it's covering up the darkness. Then we're all good. Put it in with my finger. I need better lighting in this place. Five weeks till I get this hair done and I'm getting fed up of it. It's just so lifeless. Like, this is my natural colour. And I was at one point considering just going for that. But look how shit it is. Considering the fact I only washed my hair yesterday. Depresses. I'm so sorry. I'm so sick of allergies. Just settling in my lines there. Okay. Now I am going to take my Bobbi Brown nude finish. Illuminating powder in nude, and I've just got this all over my fingers. Oh, should I use these wee samples of stuff? Joy. So that's what it looks like, and I'm just going to take this little brush and just place some of that under my eyes. I see that Cult Beauty are now doing like mini versions of the Huda powders, so I want to get the pound cake ones, but there's another one that a uh, makeup lady that's on Instagram, Helen Wills, uses, and I would like to get the other one as well because her skin always looks so radiant. With them. So let me have a look at that. Right, next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use the new KBD a good apple but this is in the shade tan 66 which as you can see is definitely not my shade but i'm going to use it as like a cream sort of a um bronze and i'm just going to use the same brush <laughs> i'm not going to take too much 
Let me call it. If you can see, you definitely do not need it. I mean, I have literally not even dipped into any more of that. <laughs> and that's all I needed. Okay, let's get... I'll just use the same brush that I used for my foundation. And we'll just blend that in. I saw one of my favourite YouTubers, it's Sabrina, do this. She bought like the all over shade and then she bought like a darker one. But she bought it more for contour, but I don't think I could use this colour for contour, do you? Let me know what you think. Those wee bits. But I just think this is quite good because it gives you a nice healthy. I think cream products are so much better actually when it comes to like bronzers and stuff. What do you think? I almost think I want a tiny, tiny bit. I'll put the brush in here now, haven't I? That's it. <laughs> Tiny wee bit. More just on here. Yeah. Oh, lovely. I'm actually just going to use the same for my blush, and this is the Elf Face, Face Palette. I'm going to use the shade Light G. I'm going to take this blush here. And I'm going to do this sort of draping that everybody seems to be doing these days. But they're taking the blush higher on their face. over my nose <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back to the eyes <laughs> and for liner I think I'm going to take the Naked Wild West and I think I'm going to use this shade bud here with a little liner brush And I'm going to just stamp it into here. That's a pretty colour. It's funny because as soon as this palette came out, everybody that knows me was like, this is such a jewelry palette, it's got green in it. <laughs> because if you don't know already, I'm obsessed with green shadows. And the colour green in general, so I just love it. Greens and teals is a bit jewelry. So if you ever see greens and teal eyeshadows and stuff, Isn't that just lovely? Just gives it a nice subtle little <laughs> lift to that colour. And then I'm just going to take a wee bit of it as well here. Doesn't matter really if you see it too much. Okay, fine. 
these videos always take so long, really. If you stick around to the end, then I'm so grateful. And I'm actually going to take this green. Right into here. Oh, I honestly, I'm so fed up with it. I used to get this constantly. This kind of choked upness, and I used to always blame it on my dad smoking. But I live in an old smoking household now. So, I think I want to kind of take this quite smokily under here as well. Do you guys have Disney Plus? I didn't realise that they had like Grey's Anatomy on there as well and Criminal Minds. Grey. All the different things. I'm obsessed. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this looks turning out. Okay. Now time for mascara. I'm using my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I just use what mascara I've got open. Because I know that if you open loads of mascaras at once, they're just going to go off. And this is just such a good mascara. Holding my breath. <laughs> now, of course, you could add a dramatic wing liner if you're good at that sort of stuff, and you could put false lashes on again if you're good at them, which I'm not. But I really don't think. I think it's a shame that a lot of people these days just don't show off their looks without the, la the false lashes because it doesn't always need to have them, does it really? I'm pretty obsessed with my eye look. Okay, I'm going to use my Doll Beauty Highlighter Palette and I think I'm going to use this one here which is champagne I think and I'm going to use this little cool brush look at it this is a essence cheek brush and we're going to put some of this oh, look at this brush look it just honestly <gasps> these doll beauty highlighters totally pack a punch don't they Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. That is nuts, isn't it? Look at that. Ooh. Right, let me just put that down there. And now, and then I think I'm not going to do anything with my eyebrows. I'll just leave them. So it's just lips. My lips are really dry these days. I think I'm going to use, mm, I don't know, I'm going to use, what's that one? No, I do not want a red lipstick today. I'm going to use, oh, Shanghai Spice, this is my favourite. This is a cream sheen MAC lipstick, what do you see it? Look how gorgeous that lipstick is. We love it. And then to finish off, of course, a little spray of Urban Decay All Nighter. I need to bring my fan in here. And that is the finished look. What do you think? 
I absolutely love it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, I don't know what I'm going to call it, then please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified. I will also leave the link to my current running international giveaway for when I hit 2k subscribers. Yeah, see you later. Bye!